All right, so we want to change the serial number on one of our SDR dongles. So I got a Windows 10 system, and I plugged in a RTL SDR blog V3. And we're going to go to this website. I'll put a link down in the description. Up at the top, you got the 32-bit. Down below, we keep going. You get 64-bit. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. And then we're going to extract it. Now we're going to open it up. We're going to go up here to the address window. And we're going to type in CMD. D. So that's what you should see in the address window. Hit enter. Now we have our control panel. It's command window in our folder. So we're going to be using this guy right here. So we're going to type in RTL and then hit the tab button until we see that. And there it is. So we hit enter. There's my blog V3. Now we're going to pull up a menu. So you push the up arrow key. It'll take you back to what you did previously. We're going to type minus H after that. Space bar minus H. Hit enter. And here's our command menus. So first thing I like to do is I like to go in here. And I like to dump EEPROM to file. So what we'll do is we'll hit the arrow key up, backspace over that, minus R, and it's, we have to give it a file name. So I'm going to give the name of RTL underscore blog 2. And I'm going to hit enter. Boom. So it found our device. It dumped our EEPROM. So let's go over here. And there she blows. RTL blog 2. So that's our backup. If we if we mess something up, we can always go back and use the the W command to write that dump file back to the device. All right, so you wanted to change the serial number. So if you look under here, serial number is zeros and a one. Set the serial number string. So minus S. All right, so we're going to push the arrow key up. Back all this back, backspace, 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 put S. And then... You got to put a number in, so I'll highlight that, paste that in there. Just right click and it'll paste right on there. So you could change it to instead of a one, a two. Some people do that. I go back a few, so I'm going to go back three and type in one, oh, three. I already have one named 101 and 102, so I'm going to type in 103. I'm going to hit enter. There's the original. Do I want to edit this? I always look at the last number and then look up and see what letter it's under to make sure I got the correct amount of digits. That's what I want to do, so I hit Y for yes, hit enter. Now, it tells you to unplug it, so I'm going to unplug it, plug it back in, and I'm going to back all this up till just the program, hit enter, is now reading it as 103. And that's how you change that. They say not to change the the product ID 
or the manufacturer. I'm going to be honest, I've done it. I don't know if I was doing it, I don't say do it, but I've done it. But that's how you change that serial number. Have a good one.